Hi, welcome back. I'm Cassie. I'm a mom of two, and today I'm going to be showing you how I do my boys' haircuts. First up today is my little Levi. Put a towel on him and secure it with a chip clip just to keep that hair off his neck. I make sure all of his hair is really wet and comb it forward. Next, I'm going to part his hair, leaving a small half-inch section in the center, and this is called our mohawk guide. I lift up a small section from the front of that mohawk, and I run the comb through it with my fingers following close behind, and I stop when I get to the length that I want it. I'll use that first cut as a guide while I slowly move from his forehead back to the crown of his head. After each cut, I move my comb back just a little bit to bring in some uncut hair so that I have a guide to line it up to before making my next cut. As you can see, my little ones don't always like sitting still for this, so when I need to, I give them a lollipop and turn on their favorite TV show. When I finish the mohawk guide, I brush it forward and part it to the left side. Then I lift small sections of hair from the center of his head to the end of his eyebrow. I first use the center pieces from the mohawk guide to determine the length, and then as I take sections going backwards, I have that front row to guide me as well. When I finish the left side, I brush it forward and do the same process on the right side. This is the fun part where I brush it forward and realize it's still too long, so I go through this entire process again. That's okay though, you can always cut more hair, you can't put it back. Now it's time to cut the sides. I like to keep these just a little bit shorter than the top so I can use the top as a guide and go a tiny bit shorter than that. And then I cut a small section vertically from the ear to the eyebrow. I use that first cut section as a guide and move all the way back to the crown of the head. I'm going to repeat that same process on the other side. On the first side, I like to measure how many fingers are between his head and the actual cut so that I get the exact same length. Time to cut the back of his head and I'll give you a better angle of this when I cut Max's hair next. There's just a small section left to cut back here and I'm going to use each of the side pieces as a guide for the length and this is a great chance to make sure everything is even all around. At the very end, I like to go in with the clippers, even out his sideburns, and make sure there's no hair hanging over his ears, and then I go around to the back and just shape the back by his neck. I was having a hard time getting him to look down, so I had my husband lay on the floor and make some funny faces at him, and it totally worked. And that's it, he's all done and looking cute as can be. Okay, time for Max's cut. They have very different hair types, so I don't usually like to cut them the same way. With Max, I prefer to use the clippers on sides and back to get it nice and short. It just looks better with how the double crowns make his hair lay. I still always use scissors on the top, just like I'm gonna show you today. For some reason, Max was really not into the clippers today, so I did a scissor cut all around, and I did it just like I did Levi's hair. 
Next time I cut Max's, I'll show you all a tutorial for how to use clippers on the sides and back. I'm not going to be narrating this one since I'm doing it just like we did Levi's cut, but I wanted to give you guys another example and some more angles to see exactly how I did it. 